Yankees hosting the Orioles, and the Orioles are plus 145 on the money line. The Yankees are minus 175, over under seven and a half runs. The Yankees laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 120, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two. And the Orioles getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 145, meaning if you bet them that way, they win this game outright, you win, they lose by one, you win. Bradish pitched twice against the Yankees last year, four and a third, four runs, four earned. They lost that game six to two in Baltimore. Five innings, one run, no earned. They won that game 3-1 to one in New York. Cole pitched three times against the Orioles last year. Seven innings, two runs, two earned. The Yankees won that game 3-2 to two in Baltimore. Eight innings, five runs, five earned. They lost 6-4 to four in New York. Six innings, four runs, three of which were earned. They lost that game 6-3 to three in Baltimore. The Orioles are 5-2 and two as a team with Bradish on the mound. They've won his last two starts. He's averaging four and a third innings pitched and 4.1 strikeouts per game in those games. The Yankees are eight and two as a team with Cole on the mound. He's averaging six innings pitched and 6.8 strikeouts per game in those games. And the two games that the Yankees lost with Cole on the mound were to the Blue Jays and to the Rays. So both of the games that the Yankees lost with Cole on the mound was to a division rival. Head to head, the road team is seven and three. The road team's on a two game winning streak. The Yankees are on a two game winning streak. The Yankees are six and four against the Orioles in their last 10. The favorite has won the last two games. The favorite is six and four on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is five and five. There have been three one run games in their last 10 meetings, one in the last series that they played against each other. The over under is five and five, and the over under at seven and a half runs is five and five. Two out of the three games they played against against each other this year have gone over seven and a half they played a three game set in baltimore the yankees took two out of three the orioles won the first game seven to six the yankees won the next one four to one and the game after that five to three and their last handful of games overall the orioles are three and one in their last four and seven and three in their last 10 11 runs eight runs 11 runs 11 runs five runs and a loss that was to the angels six runs and a win six runs and a win eight runs and a win all of those were against the Blue Jays. The Yankees are on a four-game winning streak, and they are 8-2 and two in their last 10. Six runs, eight runs, 11 runs, and five runs. Four runs and a win against the Blue Jays. Six runs and a win, seven runs and a win, four runs and a win. Those were against the Reds. I just have a funny feeling that everyone is going to hammer Cole, and I think the Yankees are going to lose this game because when Cole is pitched against division rivals, the Yankees ultimately end up losing the game, not because of him, but because of what happens when he comes out of the game. So I'm going to take the Orioles with the money line. I'm going to take the Orioles getting the runs, and I'm going to go over in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.